Did you know that a kangaroo can jump higher than the Empire State Building? Yeah, the Empire State Building can't jump at all. And this is Balloon Animal Lessons number 54. Hello Balloon World, I'm Michael Floyd, your Balloon Twister, and today I want to teach you how to make a balloon kangaroo. This is my own design. I haven't really come across many kangaroo designs, so this is what I came up with. It uses two balloons, but if you want toes on the feet, you might need a third. Let me show you how to make it. For this design, you'll need two or three 260s. I'll be using Mocha Bram. We're going to start with the legs. Get one of your 260s and inflate it about halfway. Make sure you stretch it so it's soft. For the foot, we're going to make a section a little over two inches. Follow it up with a small pinch twist. Mine's about an inch. Pull it, pinch it, twist it. There we have one foot. Same length. We want to make sure that's soft. Go up, twist another section. So these two here should be roughly the same length. We're going to make another pinch twist. Same size. So about an inch. Pinch it, pull it, twist it. And there we have one of the legs. Now what I do for the hips is I make sure it's nice and soft. I give it a nice, real soft flower petal. Just big enough to fit your finger through. But that should be soft. If it pops on you, it's because it's not soft enough. Now I twist a one inch bubble. It doesn't need to be very big. And I'm gonna push this bubble through that hole. So you can see it right there. And that's one of our kangaroo's legs. Now I twist a section that's just one finger width over, and I do the same thing in reverse. So I'm gonna twist the one inch bubble first. At this point, I'll probably do the pinch twist. So I make the small one inch bubble pinch twist. Pinch it, pull it, twist it. Give the balloon a squeeze. Make that soft flower petal. That's big enough to fit my finger through. At this point, I'll take that bubble, push it through there. Now I only have the rest of the leg to make. So I'm gonna twist the section, same leg down. Do another pinch twist. One inch bubble, hold it over, pinch it, pull it, twist it. Now I only need the foot. On the foot, I'm gonna twist off the section, same way. Not that long. And I have this as my leftover. So what I do is I twist off a bubble at the very end, I pop it, I let the air out slowly, and I tie a knot right where I want it to stop that. So you can see I have a little bit of slack there. If you want a two balloon kangaroo and you don't want toes, you can just sort of cut those off. But I'm gonna add some toes. If you wanna add toes, get another one of your 260s and inflate it about a third of the way. Give it a nice stretch. The toes are very easy. They're just three pinch twists. So what I do is I twist three bubbles, same size, and I twist them together like that. And then I take some of the slack from the knot and I wrap it through the seams, real nice and tight. And that gives me nice three toes. Now I can break that off, save that one for the other foot. You're gonna take this, you're gonna attach it right to where one of the knots are. Take that, go ahead and wrap it in there, nice and tight. And you can see I've added my toes onto the foot of the kangaroo. Just do the same for the other foot. Three bubbles. Take some of the slack, wrap it through the seams, nice and tight. Break off. Attach it to the foot. Use the slack. Put it in there nice and tight. There we go. And you can adjust them if you'd like. 
there, my kangaroo has toes. We use one balloon for the rest of the body. Get your last 260 out and inflate it about halfway. Let some air out, tie a knot. You wanna leave a little bit of slack there on the end because we're gonna use that. Give it a nice stretch. We're gonna start with the head. For the head, make a section about as long as the feet was. Now we're gonna make two ears and the ears are the same length as the head. So these three sections here should be the same size. Now we're gonna twist this seam into this seam. That's our head. But I like to flourish it a little bit with some cheeks. So give the balloon a nice squeeze and a stretch and twist two small bubbles, a little over an inch, but they should be the same size. Twist those together. And what I like to do is I will take this, give it a squeeze so I have a little bit of slack there. I'm gonna twist it through the seam just once around. And you can see that sort of squares off the back side. What that does is it makes it look like the head has cheeks. Then what I do is I take the slack, I pull it taut, and I wrap that in into the cheeks. And I adjust. This pulls the end of the face down a little bit so it slopes at an angle like a kangaroo's head does. But there's our kangaroo's head. Give the balloon a squeeze, twist off the neck, a little over an inch. Now we do the arms. For the arms, we're gonna do one about an inch and a half, small bubble, maybe an inch to half an inch, another small bubble, and another bigger bubble, inch and a half. So these two here should be the same length, and these two here should be the same size. We're gonna twist this seam into this seam. And there we have the small upper arms. Give the balloon a squeeze. You're gonna to wanna to go down a section, maybe about three inches. Make a one inch bubble, fold it over, pinch twist it, pinch it, pull it, twist it. At this point, you should have just a little bit of uninflated section left. That's good, that means you've been managing your air really well. Now it's time to put our two pieces together. You're gonna take this part here, put it on top of the legs, using the rest of our balloon here to go under it, and you're gonna twist it into where the arms meet. So you should have a section about that long. It should reach up to where the cheeks are. That's how you know it's long enough. But I'm gonna twist this into this part here. So this and this get twisted together. The tricky part is I have to put this in the middle. Okay. Now the other tricky part was we want this remaining section to come out of here. To do that, I push the air to the ends, giving me a little bit of slack, and I pull it tightly, and I twist it into this. That gives the back a little bit more of a hunched over feeling, and it gets my tail to where I want it to be. Now I can adjust the legs and the head. Also one thing you can see, the pinch twist here is on the front, like it's the knee. We want that to be on the back. By putting it on the back, it allows the hips to sit a little bit further back, and it bounces out a little bit more, making it look more like a kangaroo. The last thing to do is to curl the tail. I just give it a nice massage, bend it into whatever shape you want, give it a 10, 15 second massage to keep from your hands to warp the latex, and it'll curl the tail just enough. Now, because not all balloons are actually created the same length, some of you will have small tails like this one does. Other of you might have longer tails like this one does. It really depends on how well the balloon stretches and how good you were with your air management. But our balloon kangaroo is done. Only thing left is the art. As always, I like to keep my art simple. I start with the nose, drawing a large circle on the front of the face. Then inside that circle, I draw a smaller circle, and we have a cute cartoonish nose. For the eyes, I do the same thing, but a bit smaller. I draw a small circle, and then inside of that circle, I draw an even smaller circle, and then I fill in the difference. And then over the top, I draw an arch to represent the eyebrow. And then I do the same on the other side. And our art is done. Now that we've completed the art, we're finished with our balloon kangaroo. Let me know what you think in the comments below. One thing I really love about the sculpture is because there are three points where it touches the ground, it can actually sit on a table or surface 
and hold itself upright. One of the other things I like about this design is you can reuse the body for a T-Rex and just change the head. Let me know how your balloon kangaroo came out in the comments below. While you're down there, you can also tell me what balloon animal lesson you'd like me to teach next week. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click that like button for me. Can't get enough balloon animals? Subscribe to my channel. I do balloon animal lessons every Monday, and on Wednesdays, I do my balloon challenge series, Balloon When Fell. I'm Michael Floyd, your balloon twister. Stalk me on Facebook and Twitter, or you can check out my website, balloon-animals.com.